Good morning, Mass Bomb staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Friday A Day announcements. Hello, how is everyone today? Students, reminder prayer for Ramadan is available daily at 107 in 226. The uh, junior and senior class trip will take place on Friday, April 28th. The cost of the trip is $25. Payments are due by April the 20th. If you are interested in attending this day trip, please see Miss Christmas Bacon and or Mr. Trainer. Students, we have a lot coming up in the coming weeks. Today is a half day, as you know, seniors and also freshmen, sophomores, and juniors pay attention because this is a big thing at Mass Bomb. We have the Nocti written and hands on for 12th grade students Monday through Wednesday of next week. Okay, more on that in just a bit. The 20th, we have the block party to celebrate our Nocti performance. Friday the 21st is no school due to Eid. And then Friday, May the 5th is Mass Bomb Culture Fest. And students, as you know, our number one priority always as educators at Mass Bomb is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust. If you have concerns or problems, we are here to support you. Students, if there is something that happens in the terms in terms of a conflict, that's going to be one of the first questions that we ask. Did you reach out to a staff member to help resolve it? And if you didn't, that's a problem because this is our number one priority as educators at MassBomb. Students, this is from Miss Linscombe. The Bomb Quarterly, the Bomb Spring 2023 edition is out. See your teachers or the front office for your own copy to keep. It is scintillating. There are three math puzzles on page 23. If you are the first to come to Mr. Thomas or Mrs. Linscombe with the correct answers for any of the questions with shown work, you can win a free Panther Punch from the cafe. Fun fact, our very own Mass Bomb students created the art for them. Mary Fisher, Jennifer Fu, and Jared Rogers. The Bomb Quarterly is amazing. It just keeps getting better with every installment. Great job, Miss Linscombe and student team and all the teachers that support. All right. We've been talking about 100% in the Nocti, Nocti written, Nocti hands-on, attendance, certifications. 100% we build the future. Yes. So just a reminder that our Nocti test logistics students, all right, you are taking the written test parts one and two, Monday and Tuesday of this upcoming week. Wednesday is the performance or hands-on exam. If you have perfect attendance and excellent effort, as is noted by your proctor on all three days, okay, you will be invited to the Nocti Block Party. There we are going to be raffling off gift cards. There's going to be a catered uh, buffet. There's going to be games. There's going to be music. There's going to be a lot of great things. And students, please remember that taking the Nocti and producing maximum effort on it is a requirement in the state of Pennsylvania this year for graduation is something called Act 158, students. This is not a mass bomb thing or even a district thing. This is a state of Pennsylvania thing. Reminder about our 90% attendance initiative for April. The theme is rain or shine, be in school on time. Okay, we are striving for that 90% bar, which means only one absence since April in April, because remember we had spring break. And there will be a popsicle party for those that achieve that threshold on May the 2nd. All right. Reminder about the Culture Fest door decorating competition. Reminder about what the bar is for last year's winners. Shout out to Miss Jenkins and Miss Bacon and Dr. Hayward. Kuth, bracelet sales. Chromebook repairs, social media, the staff and student shout outs. I want to start off by shouting out Mr. Lessey and his students for signing up for Guatemala, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico in the Culture Fest door decoration competition. Mr. Lessey and his students are clearly going hard in the paint with their door decoration this year. All right. Shout out to 
310 and the crew. And Miss Walker would like to shout out Jada Simmons, Rachel Paulino, Sadiq Smith, Kaden Martin, Cy Caraballo, Kevin Thatch, Ethan Wynn, and Arad Ganez for their work on the farm this past Thursday. It was hot, and there were a lot of kindergartners, but you all made their first trip to the Fox Chase farm memorable. Ms. Walker would also like to shout out Isael Rosario Nunez for resembling, reassembling the Tion Cube. I don't know even know what that is, Ms. Walker, but it sounds interesting. There are ways to solve a Rubik's Cube that do not involve taking it apart and trying to reassemble it. Hmm. Cube Club meets every morning from 7 to 7.30 a.m. Yes. National Day, students. Today is... I think I'm going to take up this National Day. This is National Gardening Day. I enjoy a little bit of gardening. I really do. I really do. It should be a nice day for it, too. Also, it is a very important National Day. Uh, National Day of Silence. This is a national day in which we protest uh, bullying and harassment of LGBTQ students. So very important National Day, National Day of Silence. Students, let's close out the week. Have a great Friday with our school vision. We're Mass Bomb. We build the future. Have a great Friday.